Hi guys, I'm warning everyone that I'm being so exhausted so I'm not sure I'm going to make a lot of sense in this video but I will try my best. Uh, I just got back from work so I'm just tired as hell and my feet hurt and all that stuff that we are not going to talk about today. What we are going to talk about today is not being ashamed or embarrassed about liking a book. And I noticed this thing um, in people in general and on YouTube too, especially in bookshelf tours, that uh, when it comes to some books or uh, some books in particular, a lot of people seem to be um, ashamed that they love those books or they have loved them in the past sometime. And I don't mean to offend anyone in this video, I just want to point out that I don't think we should ever be ashamed or embarrassed about loving a book and about a book that may not be that popular uh, among other people but we actually enjoy them because the point of reading and loving books is that they make us happy or they make us feel good and we just uh, get all these feels for those books so we really shouldn't care about um, that maybe some other people don't really love those books and it's um, embarrassing to love that series or that book because if it brings you joy and you enjoy reading the book then it's all good that's what matters the most so yeah I don't think we should be ashamed of that and as I said I noticed this um, the most in bookshelf tours and especially with one series or maybe two and that is the Twilight Saga and personally I love that series even though I haven't reread them in a while but but that was the series that made me want to read more and read in English and I'm just so thankful that, that I have read that series because I just got hooked on reading. And yeah, so what? They are not the best books ever. They are not the best quality books. But but I, I, I just love those books so much and I remember that I couldn't stop reading them and that's the point of reading and loving books that that you kind of get obsessed with them in a way but anyways uh, so yeah on a lot of bookshelf tours people seem to just skim over those books so just basically saying that oh let's not talk about the Twilight books because yeah they are not good and I don't like them anymore and and stuff like that which is fine which is fine you can uh, not love books anymore in your life but um, it's a different thing when you actually love them uh, in the past, when you have read them. And then by now you say that you don't really love them and you are embarrassed about them or loving those books just because the popular opinion is that those books are shit. So, I don't know, I, j I just don't like that. It's not like I'm going to think less of someone uh, for loving a book that I don't like. I, I mean, I'm just happy that uh, there, there's a person or there are people who actually love that book. If, uh, I, if I can't be one of them, then I'm happy that there are some people who find enjoyment in reading these books. So that, that's just how we are. We are all different. We have different tastes. So don't be ashamed for loving a book that, for example, has a low rating on Goodreads because sometimes other people just love other stuff that you don't and um, vice versa. So um, I noticed this again with uh, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and I haven't read those books but I did start a fan fiction when it was just a fan fiction and I myself enjoy them. Uh, and uh, I know it's like way embarrassing to love those books and I think that's just stupid. If you love those books, then love them and there's no need to be embarrassed about loving them. And again, yes, they might not be the most uh, quality books ever written, but so many people love those books and I don't know, a lot of times it's, it's just like um, it's popular to hate on the popular things and it's it's true to everything in life so if you if there's a famous singer for example Justin Bieber it's popular to hate on him just because he is popular and same with the Twilight movies and stuff like that it's just I don't get why people do that and I don't make that and I don't think that it makes any sense and why should I judge somebody uh, for loving a book that I didn't love and it, it doesn't make that person any less of a person than me for example so uh, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling and what I just want to say is that never be ashamed or embarrassed about loving a book that might not be popular among everybody else. If you love them, that's amazing and that's, that's the whole point of reading and loving books and 
just just be proud and never never feel um never feel bad for loving a book that other people don't really love because we are all different and we love different books and that's 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 the greatest thing ever because then everybody can find something that they like for example i didn't really enjoy the first books of the hush hush series or the fallen series or the match series or the um what else or the or the delirium series and if other people love those books then i'm just i'm just really happy for them honestly because uh, maybe they saw something in the book that I haven't and I will never think less of someone just for loving a, a book that I haven't quite enjoyed myself. So what I'm trying to say again probably for the millionth time is to never be ashamed and never be embarrassed about loving an unpopular book. So yeah, that was all I wanted to talk about today and let me know in the comments what you think about um, this topic and again I didn't mean to offend anyone in this video so please don't take it uh, the wrong way. I actually just wanted to point out that it doesn't matter what you love as long as you love that book and um, be happy about that and just be proud of that and I'm going to shut up now and say goodbye so bye bye.